Alrighty, we're freaking live. What's happening, everybody? Let me silence my device. What's happening? How is it hanging? Good to see everybody. Very, very good to see everybody. I was just watching. Uh, has anyone seen on Netflix called The Magic Prank Show? It's fucking really good. Uh, it's it's a prank show, but the host is a magician. So he's doing pranks using his magic um talents and it's they're really good pranks because he's using his magic i mean it's not I mean, obviously not real magic but he's really fucking good at like sleight of hand and like just he's a top he's a really good magician um and the for the finale for the show they it's the the gnarliest prank i've ever seen period I, I, I want to tell you about it without spoiling it, but I'll tell you the basic the basics. So the idea is they want to trick a guy into doing this uh, sleep study where he goes into a doctor's office. He falls asleep in this like little pod bed thing and they, you know, watch him sleep and kind of give him pointers on how, you know, what he can do to get a better night's sleep basically. So they want to they want to uh, bring a guy in to do that. He thinks he's doing this sleep study, and they want him to wake up and be in like a post apocalyptic world and like think that he somehow like slept for a hundred years or something. So they're like, how all right, how the fuck are we gonna do this? Like, how cool would that be if we could pull it off? So they they contact this hypnotist, like top level hypnotist. I even did research on my own. Like this dude can put people to sleep he can like it, it's crazy so the guy comes in to the do the sleep study he gets in the pod he thinks he's just gonna sleep for an hour and wake back up the doctor's gonna talk to him so he lays in there and then the hypnotist starts talking to him he knocks the guy out he's under like a hypnotist sleep they 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 transport the pod out to the middle of the desert and they they had like this whole set are built around him like this post-apocalyptic set and then so they get it all ready and then the hypnotist snaps him out of it and he wakes up and he did he he opens the pod and he looks out and he's in like this post-apocalyptic desert like the the doctor's office is still around him but it's all like run down and looks like it's been like abandoned for years and he flips the fuck out and there's a lot more to the prank but that's all i will Say you guys need to watch it. It is unbelievable. <laughs> this dude thought he was he literally like something went wrong and like he woke up and everyone else was dead, like in the world. Like it was fucking crazy. Oh boy. What's up, Landon? What's up, Angelo? No, I'm tempted to. There's a whole nother twist. They they get this guy so good because there's a whole nother twist that they get him with. He, after he wakes up in the in the post-apocalyptic world, they they get him again. They they twist the dagger again. It's brutal. The guy started crying at one point. It's called The Magic Prank Show on uh, Netflix. You should watch the whole thing, but really the finale is the one I'm talking about. It's the last episode. Can you imagine? Like, logically, you'd be like, no, that's not possible. But, I mean, you would not You would never think, oh, a hypnotist came and hypnotized me and they, they put me out here. It's a prank. No, you would, you would think, like, literally, like, I'm fucked. <laughs> What's up, Jay? Silas, Mimo, Homer, Gareth, everybody. We'll do the drawing at 6.30. Um, if you have not entered, go, um, leave a comment under that video, the entry video, and that'll enter you. 
um, the prizes are this uh, Ultim Canary and this uh, Button Lock Pyrite, one clip. And I'm actually going to give you the option if you want this Micarta one or if you want a stainless steel one, um, which was donated to the channel. Let me get it real quick. I had a, uh, a very kind buddy donate um, a bunch of CGRBs to the channel. Thanks, guy. Um, so a lot of them will be giveaway knives in the future. Um, but for this one, we'll just give you the option. Um, if you want this stainless steel one or you want the, the micarta with the black blade. I, I think the stainless steel one is um, is what I would pick. Because since there's so much milling on the inside, it almost just feels like titanium. It's like ridiculously good. Um, but if you like the more grippy micarta, you know, the action feels pretty much the same on them. Um, you know, the, the, the stainless steel is pretty slippery. So on mine, I actually even, I cut some grooves on it to give a little more grip because this is pretty slippery. So you can, uh, if you win the pyrite, you can choose between those two. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, you have been around for a long time. There's a there's a handful of guys that have been around for a very long time, and it's awesome. It is very very cool. Link to the entry video. Cool. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Mimo. I should make some more um, moderators. We haven't done that in a while. Let me make some real quick. Who wants to be a moderator? Oh, oh, it means really is that you can put links in the chat. Um, and you can also put people in timeouts, but I ask that you do not do that. Actually, you know what? There's two levels to it. There might be. Let's see. Let's do it here. Paul. Okay, standard moderator can review and re remove chat messages, hide or put users in timeout. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll make Paul a moderator. I will make Jay a moderator. Um, Neil, you want one? All right. There you go. Um, but, but, boo. Thanks, man. Yeah, I, um, I usually don't wear them, but, um, I had something funky in my eye, so I took my contacts out. It happens, uh, once in a while. Yes, exactly. Do not abuse your power. <laughs> Are you sure you want one? All righty. There you go. Anybody else? Welding dies them out. Yeah. It's, it's, well, at least for me, it's not so much the welding, but it's all the, debris that's in the air like you know you're grinding you're fucking there's just a lot of dust and like metal flakes and everywhere it's just gets in your eye one time i actually had like an actual shard of metal get in my eye and um I had to go to the emergency room because i couldn't find it it was like it must have been just really tiny or maybe it was up below my or above my eyelid or something so i had to go to the emergency room because it was unbelievably painful and um, they sprayed this numbing stuff in my eyeball and then pulled it out with a pair of tweezers. Luckily, they found it. That really sucked. Dwayne, what's up, dude? 
You're already a moderator from back in the day. Your eye drilled? What the fuck is that? What do you mean drilled? Oh, Ryan, you want one? You got it. There you go. Um, I've seen welders sometimes um, clean out their eyes with a fucking, um, what are they called? Um, Q-tips. I can't do it because I wear contacts, but I saw the video of this, of this, uh, of this welder. He literally like pulled down his eyelid and was just like rubbing this Q-tip all around his eyeball. It's like, what the fuck, dude? Doesn't that, that's the guy to not feel very good. The Benza, I'm liking it, you know? It's not, it's not my favorite knife ever, but I like it. I'm not going to get rid of it. This is this is one I, I like it better than the large, um, just size wise. Um, I still wish there was a medium Sabenza. That would be the perfect size. Um, I took it apart and uh, and greased it all up, and it's it's a lot smoother now. It's still very stiff, you know, but I can thumb flick it. it. Makes a really interesting sound when you thumb flick it. You know, it's funny. We have an eye wash station, but it's bone dry. <laughs> it is bone dry. Yeah, good. Yeah, I, I am very, I am very on top of it with the uh, with the safety glasses. I, I pretty much wear them constantly, even though I, I don't really need them. Um, and if I'm grinding, I'll wear my safety glasses and a face shield. But somehow, shit just it gets around and gets in your eyes still sometimes. It's crazy. What the fuck, dude? What are you talking about? What did you... Why? Ew, that sucks. Yuck. Oh, man. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Speaking of bugs in the eye, I was watching this. There's a show on um, Max called, what is it called? Stuck. It's called Stuck. And it's all about people that have come into the emergency room with stuff stuck in them. It could be a bug in their ear. It could be a dildo up their ass. Those are the, oh, there was one with a, like a really big splinter. Anything that's stuck in your body. The show is all about people that, that come in with that stuff. Um, it was very interesting and very gross. This guy had a, a bug in his ear and, um, they had these, they, they call these out the, uh, um, they're called alligator, like pinchers, pliers, but there's like these pliers with these really long, like jaws, very skinny, long jaws. And they get in there with, get in their ear with those and try to grab it and pull it out. Oh yeah. Yeah, I know that feeling. It's um it, your like your eyes are like really sensitive to to light when that happens. Like you have to put an eye patch on or something cuz the light just hurts so bad. Head your favorite night. Hell yeah. Nice, man. Yeah, that's a good one. Very good. <laughs> that's funny. That's bound to happen to me sometime. I find those little wire wheels stuck in my shirt all the time. But one of these days is going to just get a bullseye. <laughs> I've never nurses, you know, really having this. Oh, God. Yuck. Yeah, this there there was one girl that came in with um, a dildo sucked up her ass, sucked up in her ass. 
and like went way up there, like up into her intestine. And they had to go in with, however they like look in your uh, intestines for like cancerous, whatever they were using. Like, I don't even know how they're like these, they can somehow manipulate these little tools uh, inside you, but they're, you know, they can go like way up in there and then remotely like grab it and pull it out. It was fucking big. It was big too. Like I, I never had anything like that in my ass, so I don't know, but it seemed way too big. <laughs> and yeah, oh god. God. Nasty. Oh god, yeah, that's scary. Grinders are kind of scary. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't know what you're doing, they can be very dangerous. I've never had a problem because I'm, I know what I'm doing and I'm careful around them. But um, if you don't, this thing can fuck you up, man. Like one one time, our mechanic, um, who he's a mechanic, he doesn't really deal with grinders very often. He uh, he was grinding something, and he was using a cutoff wheel as like a grinding wheel. And the thing blew apart and just fucking got him, like just gouged his cheek open. And I don't use guards on my grinders at all. But uh, if you know what you're doing, you don't need them. Rotor rooter your ass. <laughs> Lone Star Retractor. What is that? I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> PM2 and S90V. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Spyderco's S90V is probably the, some of the best. Chainsaw. Yeah, that's another tool that I, I get nervous around sometimes. Just because I don't use chainsaws all the time, hardly ever. So... When I do, I'm like, oh yeah, this thing could really fuck me up. I gotta be careful. I've seen that video of that guy? He's on a ladder, and he has a chainsaw, and he's trying to like pierce into the his ceiling for whatever reason, and the tip catches and it it flings it right back to his face, and it stops like like a fucking eighth of an inch away from his his fucking face. Ugh. Oh, dude, I've seen that. Yeah, do, don't watch it. <laughs> that's probably, the, that's one of the gnarliest videos I've ever seen. Yeah, it turns them into a paste. Good, yeah. Uh, I'll never understand, when I was in welding school, uh, I was the oldest one in there because I had, I was this older kid coming back into school a lot of them were just right out of high school um but for them it was not cool to wear safety glasses like the teacher would catch them all the time not wearing them and they'd put them on and he would walk away and they'd good they would take them back off like dude what the fuck is wrong with you do you like your eyeballs it's, it's a weird thing about like being safe is is like not cool where did, where did that come from And a dagger, uh, yeah, a couple. I don't know about how traditional they are, but they are daggers. I got this one. That's a dagger. That's probably more daggery than than my Roadrunner, but this is a dagger too, technically. I think those are my. Do I have one more? I'm trying to think. I don't think so. I think those are my my two daggers. I would one day like to get a really badass, like fixed blade dagger for, you know, for the channel, I guess. Yeah, loose, yeah, loose clothing is really what does it. 
um, around machinery. That's always bad. Tree service for 20 years. Change. Uh, I, I believe it, man. I believe it. It's almost like a, like a lightsaber, right? Cause like any part of your body it touches, it's just cutting it off, <laughs> right? Scary. No, you didn't, you didn't miss it. We're doing it in uh, 12 minutes. Oh, you did, okay. Yeah, send me pictures. Um, twice we are the opening hole in 2020. Dude, people keep telling me this about that knife that is good. I need to, I guess I need to fucking try one. Um, the Kaiser says, they know it's not. But it's pretty close. You could sharpen that uh, that other edge pretty easily. What's up, Lonnie? Should you make a dagger? I could, yeah. That's a good idea, actually. The frog sticker, I do. Yeah, it's over there. I don't even know if this would be really a dagger, I guess. Well, no, probably not. But yeah, this is pretty weird. Slip joint. Pig sticker. Very, very pointy. Benchmade infidel or slug printer and fix it. Okay, yeah, that's true. That's true. Thanks for the reminder. Yeah. Hit the like button. Uh, I didn't have one, but I tried one. But I'm. But this is like a, their new versions. The one I tried was really old, so I need. I need to try the newer ones. Folding chopstick. Yeah, it kind of does. If you had two of them, you probably could use it as a chopstick. Let's uh, purple haze DLC in 40 minutes. Cool. There you go. Dagger and stiletto. I'm not sure. Whenever I think of stiletto, I think of um, like the the audit those automatic. Aren't they aren't stilettos like automatics traditionally? I don't know. Let's look it up. Okay, yeah. I, I think to stilettos are like their traditional Italian um, autos. With the thing with like the, the cross guards. Like this right here. Like these. I used to have one. When I went to Mexico as a kid, I bought one of these. And um, I just can't remember where it went. I had it for a while. And then must have lost it. But I think, yeah, I think this is a, a traditional Italian stiletto. And I guess they could be daggers or not daggers. But they're not, um, you know, they're not only daggers. Just the style of knife. Great. It's actually getting a patina on the blade too, which is sweet. We Praxis. I haven't tried the Wii, no. I had I have a Civivi Praxis, which is a great knife. Um, I just never tried the Wii one. I'm sure it's probably a lot better. Uh 
Thanks, man. Yeah, um, it's for sale. If anyone wants my American Blade Works Model One, I bought it for two hundred, so I'll probably sell it for right around two hundred because I mean it is brand new, and I also put in the work for putting the thumb stud on and bought the thumb stud. So uh, right around two hundred. It's in perfect condition. There's no scratches or anything, and you'll have the thumb stud already on there. Right on, man. Welcome in. Chef's here, too. What's up, man? WW2, bayonet, sort of like a dagger. Yeah. I think, um, well, there's a difference between a bayonet grind and a dagger grind, right? Runga, what's up, dude? Thanks, man. First Jack Wolf coming tomorrow. Sweet. Which one did you get? <laughs> well, I should have done that back when I had uh, less members. There's too many now. That would be expensive. That was a good idea, though. I think it's like five bucks. Ty Frag, a skilled Loki. Yeah, that's pretty fucking good, dude. Pretty fucking good. I, you know, I, I actually think I like the Turaco a little better. Where's my Turaco? Um, a little better than the Loki. I really like the Turaco. Where the fuck is it? Oh, here it is. Yeah. Um. I saw Neves just did a video with the Duraclo as well. And I was just curious to see what he would say, like, if I'm crazy thinking this thing is awesome. Um, but no, he also really liked it. So, yeah, I'm not crazy. This thing is fucking really good. Um, every day button lock has deep lash, and I can touch the tip of the blade. It went back. Really? Okay. Interesting. Um, so you just returned it, or, or are they fixing it and sending it back to you? Let me handle for Blade Show. Nice, man. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, I think I got mine all figured out. Um, we're staying with a friend. And, uh, yeah. Can't, I can't wait, man. Are you guys staying in a, in a hotel near there, or what? What's up, Richard? Uh, you got the Loki. Oh, cool. You got one. Right on. OTF Infidel, let me know. Uh, the, is that the Benchmade Infidel? Return for a reef. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I pr Honestly, I probably should have done that. Because as soon as I, you know, took it out and started playing with it, I knew I wasn't going to like it. I should have just returned it right then, but I thought maybe I put the thumb stud on and I'll start to like it, but you know, I just don't. Is what it is. Um, all right, we got four minutes. I better pull up the uh, the picker here. Let's go to the video. That's not my YouTube channel. Hello. Gosh, good thing I did this now. Somehow I got signed out. Let's see. I have to go look up my password. Uh, 
That's a long one, so hold on, I gotta type it in. Talk amongst yourselves. Let's hope I did it right. Fuck! All right, hold on. Concentrate. Okay, this might be a problem. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong one. Okay, never mind, we're good. That was the wrong one. That was my net, that was my Amazon password. Usually my computer remembers it for me, but for some reason it didn't. Okay, now I have to verify it's me. Yes, it's me. Yes, it's me. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. Now I go to the video. And I click that. And I go to copy. Copy, and now I go to YouTube comment picker. I got one minute. We're still doing okay here. I said I'm going to draw exactly at 6.30. Okay, paste in the video. Okay, we're all set up. We're ready. Disaster has been averted. I used to do that, and now I use um, the Passwords app, which is pretty cool because it, it automatically just makes a really complex password that'll never be guessed. Um, and usually it works great, but I think because I'm using fi uh, Firefox instead of Safari, it, it didn't know how to... Usually it loads my password in automatically for me. Um, supposedly that's the best way to do it nowadays, unless you... Yeah, you, you need to have a complex password nowadays. However you remember that is up to you. You can write it down or have an app, but um, watch the, or go to the giveaway vi entry video on my channel and leave a comment under there with keyword canary. All right, it's 6.30. Here we go. And you have to be in the live to win. So we'll draw however many times we need to to find somebody that's actually here. All right. Filter duplicates. One winner. Um, I have to, I need premium for that. Okay. Oh, well. I'll just look for the word canary. Um, 16, number of winners, one, filter, okay, here we go, get comments. One fifty eight, And here we go, y'all ready? Three, two, oh yeah, this is, okay, we'll do, I gotta tell you what you're winning first. This is for the Ultim Canary and a big pile of stickers, here we go. Crispy, crispy critter, are you in here? Let me get a notepad so I can write it down. I can't see the chat, so I'm going back to that now. Crispy. Crispy. 
Crispy, where are you? I don't see him yet. This could be a redraw, folks. Has anyone seen, me, seen him in here tonight? I don't think I have. We'll give him like... Oh, there he is. Nice. Congrats, buddy. Got an Ultim Canary. Hit me up with your address on Instagram. Um, wow, last so that was pretty good. Last time, I think we uh, drew like a lot of times before we uh, found somebody that was here. Um, all right, let's do the next one then. For either the Micarta Warncliffe Pyrite Button Lock or the Stainless Steel Button Lock Pyrite Warncliffe. Your choice. Um, beep, beep, boo. Here we go. How do I draw again? Oh, pick another winner. All right, here we go. Just one, just one more naff. Just one more naff. Are you here? Probably not. I don't remember seeing that name tonight. Just one more naff. Just one more nap. Just one more nap. Just one more nap. Anybody? Didn't say canary. It the that's more to just filter out the bots. So um I would say no. I haven't seen him. Yeah, I don't think he's in here. We'll give him another like one minute, and then we'll go again. <laughs> it definitely has that feeling. Okay. All right, that's enough time, I think. Let's go again. Whoops. Whoops. What the, what the fuck are you doing? There we go. Uh, pick another winner. Here we go. RME D79. RME D79. Probably not in here either. But let's see. Are you? Are you here? Are you here? Didn't hear one. Crispy Critter won the first one. And now we are um, seeing if this guy is in here. Oh, someone says he's here. Say something. Say something. He's here, he's here. Where? Where is he? It's Robert, oh, it's Robert M? Okay. See, I have no way of knowing that. Cool, right on, man. Congrats. Hit me up on uh, Instagram with your address and I will, oh wait, which one do you want? Uh, would you like the micarta or the stainless steel? Up to you. How do we know it's Roberto M? Um, honor system, but also I'll wait a few days. And if they're real... Um, Whatever RME79 contacts me, then we know the first one was not him. But he has the same picture 
from his YouTube. Um, so it's definitely him. Stainless steel, good choice. That's probably what I would do as well. Right on, man. Let me uh, let's see. Cool. And we'll do one more just because we can. Let me see here. Okay, so that's. Where's the other knife? Oh, there it is. Okay. There's the pile. Uh, we'll do one more here. Let's see. Tim, okay, cool. Here's the variation as well. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We are good. <laughs> the resi, yeah. Sure. Sure thing. Um, let's see here. How about a mini pyrite? Drop point. I never got the drop point one. I got the the one cliff one, but I kind of like this one actually. Yeah, let's do that. Mini pirate. Thanks, Jay. See you, buddy. All right, yeah, we'll give away this um, this blue aluminum um, CJRB mini pyrite. Give away a slip. I don't have any extras made right now. Um, okay, here we go. Pick another winner. Here we go. Let's see. Watch City. Nice. I don't know if he's here today, is he? Hope so. He's a nice guy. I don't remember seeing him tonight. Let us see. I think it's snappy. I think it's snappier than mine. Where's mine? Where's mine? Here it is. Huh, maybe not. Well, okay, so the drop point um, mini has a thumb stud while the uh, the one cliff has the hole, so it's kind of hard to compare. I actually kind of like the thumb stud. Both are good. The mini pirate's pretty sweet. All right, looks like Watch City is not here tonight, so let's go again. El Cap! Right on, man. El Cap, I think you're here, right? Yeah, you're right there. <laughs> right on, man. Congrats, dude. Did they ever make the regular pyrite in aluminum? I think they did. There's been so many pyrites, I can't even keep up anymore. So many pyrites. That's kind of their their cash cow. Or their their golden what's it called? Uh what's it called with the 
the hen that lays golden eggs, whatever that thing is, that's what their pyrite is for them. Just keeps 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 putting out hits. Except this dude, this this new buoy, I I think is ugly as hell. I think that thing is ugly. With that huge fuller in it, like what is up with that? It looks like someone made it with an angle grinder. <laughs> Let me write down. Where's my, where's my pen? You hate it? Okay, cool. I, I know some people liked it. Um, Oh, Steven likes it. Yeah, I think some people like it. Um, I think, well, I don't know. I was going to say the majority of people don't like it, but I don't know that. Um, it looks bad to me. It looks mooey, mooey. Is it mallow? The Pyrite family. Look at this thing. Yuck. Look at that fuller. Looks like they did it with a grinding wheel. <laughs> Maybe it's just the picture. I don't know, man. Yeah, not a fan. But, you know, not everybody can like everything. There's another one that likes it. I think there's a better boo. Yeah, I like that one better. Better person? Yeah, it might. It's definitely possible. <laughs> That's scary. Yeah, I think he did, though. My most favoritist buoy is obviously the Gunslinger. This is the sickest buoy. The Mini Tempest buoy. Yeah, that's a pretty good one, too. I used, dude, I used to hate buoys. I used to hate buoys. Now I don't, though, for whatever reason. I don't know. Something changed in me. I think it was when I bought this knife, the first one. This was my really my first buoy when I bought that knife. And um, I think I, I think I just fell in love with it. I think, I, I think it's the gunslinger's fault. I just did, I didn't see, like, the practicality of them. But now that I have used one and carried one, I do see the practicality. <laughs> the gunslinger is the one exception. <laughs> oh, what a nightmare. I would try to go back to sleep. See if I wake up and it was all just a dream. Z T two two oh two two three. Uh, I don't know. I have to look that up. Zero two two three. That is a buoy. Or, I don't know. What What is really the difference between a buoy and a cloak point? I don't even know. Aren't they kind of the same thing? Uh, 
thought they were kind of the same thing. Um, it says clip point, but I think you, I think it's interchangeable. But I could be wrong. Arcona Burn, ah, oh, man, that sounds very familiar, but right now I can't place it. Um, Arcona Burn, oh, this thing, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I kind of like the look of it, yeah. I haven't tried one. Pretty sure it's not my flavor. Eh, no, I mean I I don't hate it. Kind of looks like um, kind of futuristic-y, like a have a I don't know. Yeah, I kind of dig it. Who makes it? Oh, it's got a GTC knives inner framework. Interesting. That's cool. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of do like it. Best tech, all right. All buoys are clip points, not all clip points are buoys. Okay. Um, that's a good point. Yeah, traditionally, I believe they do. Um, buoys. But I don't know if that's still a, uh, a prerequisite for it being a buoy still. Turkish clip point, not a buoy. Alani's clip, not a buoy. Okay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Alani's clip is like, it's its own thing. Makes sense. My grail knife. I don't know if I have like a one. Well, actually, no, I do. It's the Brian Nadeau custom arch nemesis. Probably. James Brown, uh, Titanium Tego. That's a pretty sick knife too, man. Yeah. I'm not a fan of James Brown, but I am a fan of that. Never tried one, but. Asher and I, I've tried a few, yeah. People seem to like them. So what is up with this Arcona burn? Like, what's the deal? Who makes it? Well, okay, best deck, but like, what's the, is Arcona the, the brand? And do they have other knives? Like, I, I don't even know what the deal is. Here's one on knife swap. Already sold, went for 285. If I type in Ar Arcona Knives, there's not even a website, really. Uh, let's see. There it is, though. This, Arizona Custom Knives. Here's one called the Jerry by Arcona Knives. Don't like that as much. Here's an Instagram. So they do have other knives, looks like. Huh, why can't I find a website? Here's 
Here's a burn. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm kind of digging it. Kind of digging it, man. I'm the impression that Arcana made the knives. I don't know. Um, apparently it's best tech. I don't know. Grab two more side busters in yours today. Sweet, man. Nice. Which uh, which covers did you get? What version? Pro toy read for the Bowie typography. I guess you could have a drop pointed. Well, I don't know. Could you have a drop pointed buoy? Knife Nuts Podcast website has them. So how is how is the Knife Nuts Podcast associated with them? Later, Fluke. See you, man. Um, I've never tried one either, but supposedly they're pretty decent, but just way overpriced. People seem to like them, but they're just way, oh, way too much money. Um, okay, let's see. Knife nuts. Knife nuts. I see the burn, but I don't see anything else. What is this? 50 out of 40. So they're pretty limited. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. What about from Kuna Okay. Um, I think maybe on one or two of them, but usually they're pretty sharp. Um, yeah, if if it's if it's pretty bad, then um, hit up Ben; he should help you out. Do, 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 do. I don't really follow the Knife Nuts podcast. Uh, yeah, definitely a different feeling between, um, you know, Jack Wolves and, you know, Ohio River Jacks and Hedgehogs. They feel different than, than GECs for sure. Not sure exactly what it is. Probably something to do with, um, you know, Jack Wolves don't have liners. It's just pure titanium, solid titanium. And GECs have, you know, the covers is one material and then the liners are some kind of brass, you know, usually. Um, just the way they're made, too. You know, cases are make, made with, uh, well, case and GECs are made with more traditional methods. Right on, man. Sleep good. See you later. Jack Wolf with Bone. That would be pretty sweet, yeah. I doubt that he would since he already stopped doing my Carta. She's like a net more natural material. Um... You know, he, he's going with the trends, which is smart if he wants to sell them. Um, and, you know, fat carbon is very popular right now, but I wish he would start doing the micarta ones again. Um, or, yeah, bone would be freaking awesome. Uh, I mean, my, my dream is to one day design a 
modern slip joint that feels more traditional than modern. So like maybe titanium bolsters with a brass liner, um, bone covers, and like a, a blade steel that will have really good end retention, but also patina, like K390 or Maximet or something. How cool would that be? Um, that's what I really want to do because there's really – I at least I can't think of anything like that already. I think if you're going to design a knife these days, you should try to fill a hole. You know, you shouldn't. I mean, you can do whatever you want. And for me, I would never design a another titanium frame lock because there's way too many. I would want to um, try to fill a hole or do something. You know, at least kind of new. Go back to natural at some point. Yeah, I don't know. Hope so. I witnessed traditionals. I have not. No. I'll we'll take a look. And we're about at an hour. Let's wrap it up. I wouldn't say that no, because I like I like Jack Wolves a lot too. I almost kind of view them as two different things, like modern traditionals and traditional traditionals. They kind of, I don't know. They're kind of in their separate camps. No, it's like a some kind of brandy thing. I think it's pretty good. Front flipper. I love front flippers. Love them. That's it. Thanks, guys. Let's um. Let's get out of here. Have a good Friday. And I'll see you in here Saturday morning. Cool. Later.